What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I've been feeling a little under the weather this past week, so I decided to get too crazy with the video today. It's going to be short, but I figured it was worth it to show you guys uh, what I am doing to try to fit everything inside the van. So my painting stuff, I had it in a bucket, and um, it worked pretty well, but I noticed my brushes were starting to get kind of beat up, and I'm trying to get everything modular, so everything is pretty much like in the same size bin. So I dumped the bucket, and I'll show you what I initially tried to do and then decided to change my mind. This is what I used to keep it in. And as you can see, that's going in the garbage. These are going in the garbage. They were all just in here that I didn't uh, need and never used. So what I did was I got another one of these bins, which I have two bins already. One has drop cloths in it. One's got uh, roller covers, uh, tape, gloves, rags etc and then all that's this stuff was in a bucket so what i'm doing is i decided to put everything in here now i know you got a container and then you got containers inside of a container but still i'm going to be modular because i'm going to have the same size bins for painting they can all be stacked up and they're easy to carry in the house so all of this stuff was in here and it was just a big mess stacked everywhere so i decided to do this and I think it'll work okay. I downsized a few things. You know, I got stir sticks in here, my paint roller, my other smaller one, my uh, wider one that's 18 inches. These are just in here because I just um, painted yesterday. And then my other cut-in bucket, my grate, another cut-in bucket, you know, tools to open paint cans, screwdrivers, um, a stain matching thing, a couple of brushes, a knife scraper. That's just in here because if I got a... Uh, do a quick polyurethane on something that's stained so I'm leaving that in there and then what I thought I would do is oh well I'll just put my brushes and stack them up really nicely on the top and then I realized you know what the brushes aren't cheap I need to take better care of them and so I realized that's not gonna work and then I'm gonna have to take brushes out and then take this stuff out versus just taking these things out and so what I decided to do is I decided to purchase this. Now I got this from a tip on a Facebook page that a lot of painters use, and it's called the Brush Tote. I've never heard of this, never seen it. This one holds uh, six brushes and it holds up to a three inch brush. Now, the only thing is you gotta save these. And their selling point is you take this, uh, if you gotta go and paint, you go and paint. You clean your brush, let it sit, and by the time you're done cleaning up at the end of the day, it's dry enough to put back in here, and then it goes in here. Now you can't take these brushes without the covers on there and put them in there. I tried, not gonna work. So these three are just gonna have to be like this because I threw the covers out. But when you don't keep them in here, you can see. See, this is what happens to the brushes. You don't really wanna do that. They should be nice like that. Even that one on the end is starting to get a little messed up. So I decided to try this out. So six brushes fit in here, up to a three inch brush. I figure I'll have all my three inches like this on this side, my two and a half inches on this side. That's an extra one. Um, the only thing I would say so far, the downside is that it doesn't fit bigger ones in here. So this stain brush is a lot wider, won't fit in there. Um, and then I wish, which I think would have been a good idea, is if they took this, and this, this material guys is like really, really durable so i think the only thing i wish they would have done is i think if they sewed an extra pocket on this one they could have fit one and a half inch brushes which those two i have they got trashed so i gotta buy a couple more but if they could maybe put a couple of those slots on there too i think would have been nice but like i said we'll see how it goes so you fold this up like that the brushes stay nice as long as they're in here and then you can fold it up and then this has a, a strap to hang it. So I figure I'll just hang it in my van versus um, taking the brushes and putting them in there. And uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So for now, I can't put these in there. This one will fit in there. Uh, I don't think I'll need... Well, I take that back now because I got three, three inches. I usually have three of these. And then I usually have two or three one and a half inch brushes. So... Um, that's the only thing that I'm not going to be able to fit. Maybe I'll just set them in there and fold them or something like that. But anyways, it's called the Brush Tote. And they sent me a nice handwritten letter. And it's a money-back guarantee. So it says right in this letter, 
if you are not happy with the purchase, you can return it and get a 100% refund, including the shipping. Um, so, you know, we'll see how this goes. You get the brushes in there. This folds up like that. And then you can grab it, carry them like that, and then fix six brushes. And what I think I'll do is I'll probably, actually, ooh, they might be able to go in there. That'll work out really nice if they sit in there and it fits. That actually work out really well if I can do that. But you know, you can't have anything longer than that handle. They won't fit. So there you go. I might actually do that. Um, check them out online. They got a Facebook and Instagram and a YouTube page. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Don't forget, guys. Give me those thumbs up. Share my videos. Subscribe to my channel. And if uh, you got any questions, drop in the comment section below.